Hello, my sister. All right. So we are going to make some pretty coaster and basket. And how do we do this, you ask? Well, it's easy. Leave yourself, let me see, leave yourself a little bit of a tail. I'm gonna focus in here. Okay, for your magic circle, you're gonna wrap around. Um, for some reason, my camera does not wanna focus tonight, so we're gonna do the best we can here. Okay, there we go. You're gonna wrap it around your fingers once, and then twice, crossing over the second time. Just hold it in place with that finger. Put your hook up through that crisscross, pull that through, twist, turn up, and then you're going to grab this yarn over here and pull it through that little hole there. And that is your magic circle. You're going to make this, well the ones that we made, we made with a G hook, G, 4.25 millimeter. You can make it with an H hook too if you want to make it a little larger, but this one is the one that we made when you were here. So, we are going to start by chaining two. But we are not going to count this as a stitch, as one of our stitches. So, we are going to make 10 double crochets into our magic circle. I'm sorry, I'm working with kids in my background here. So, Oops. there's two. Okay, you just want to remember not to be too tight with your stitches too so that you can keep it as loose as possible so it will stay as flat as possible and then remember you can steam block it to flatten it out which is probably really a good thing to do that's what I did for my basket but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten double crochets in our magic circle pull your tail bring it in together here and then we're going to join to the top of that second chain I'm going to join right actually above here um, I don't know if you could see this or not let me see if I can focus we're going to actually join right above here above this chain that stitch above there because that'll keep us from gapping in between so we're going to join with a slip stitch and then we have this next you are going to chain two and remember just don't be so tight with it chain two we're going to work one right into that same stitch right there <coughs> excuse me I take that back we're gonna two okay no that's right we're gonna work two double crochets into each of the 10 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two single crochet or double crochets 
into each stitch giving us 20 at the end of this round. So we started with 10 and we'll have 20 when we have finished. Sorry, it's a little hard with the camera. Okay, so put two into each stitch around and then I'll meet you on the other side. Just pause your video here and then when you start it up again, we'll be over here. Okay, we are at the end here and remember not to count this chain as one of your double crochet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then you'll just join into this top right here. Remember, join into the top of this chain two, right here. With a slip. Okay. And just pull that middle string, that back string, to tighten that up. So chain two, again. And then we are going to work one double crochet into this next stitch. And then you're going to work two into the next one. Remember, just keep it loose to give you a better chance of keeping that flat but we just did two now we're going to do one again and then we'll work two into this one all right so go ahead and work that pattern after we've worked two we're going to work one then two one two one two all the way around till you get to the end and you'll have a total of 30 at the end of this row and I'll see you back in a moment, so pause. Okie dokie, we are back and we're just coming into our last stitch. We just did one and now we are working our last two into this last stitch here. And then we will join to the top of that chain right there. It's gonna be right above this to kind of fill in this gap a little better. Okay, so we have actually gotten to the point where we are going to border our um, we're going to border our coaster. Okay, now what we are going to do here is work one up from there. Um, but in this one, for our border, we are going to do a half double crochet. <coughs> and when we finish with this round, we, okay, so we started with 10. For this round, we had 10. For this round, we ended up with 20. For this round, we ended up with 30. So now we are going to join, get your, make sure you have your other yarn available. We're going to join with white and, or I am. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put my white strand over my hook, like so. And I'm going to pull it through that loop, that yellow loop. I'm going to tighten my yellow strand loop right there, as you see. Hold that down to keep it tight and get your white strand ready and then chain two okay and we have just joined 
that's one way to join it's just easy so what we are going to do is we are going to work one half double crochet into this next stitch one half okay so that's through all the loops for some reason I look like I'm skipping and I think I did so I'm gonna come out of there and work one half double into our first stitch there we go we're gonna work one half double into our next stitch and then we're gonna work two half doubles into this next one so our next pattern is going to be one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. So work one half double, one half double, and then two half double. Okay, work that around the entire outside of your pattern or your coaster, and I will see you when we get here. Pause your video. Okay, so we're at the end here, and you will have a total of 40 at this last for this border. So to make quick sense of this pattern, we have 10, and then we do all doubles, two stitches in each stitch for 20, and then we do one double crochet and then two double crochets one double crochet two double crochet in this row for a total of 30 and then we do one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet for a total of 40 so 10 20 30 40 you probably already figured that out but basically we're just increasing by 10 in each row an extra and then you're going to join to the top of that right there and there we have our coaster like I said you can do your little steam blocking or whatever but this is the rim of this is supposed to come up on that so that's actually perfect now for making our basket, our basket doesn't have the border. However, we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We go four rows before we do our half double crochet on the bottom. So we're just upping this by one more row and then our border but since we are not doing a border for our basket that's how we make our coasters for our border I'm gonna take this off after you finish making your coaster you'll just finish off the way you would normally finish something off but if you're making the basket we are going to add one more row of the, we're going to do the same thing we did with the border, only we're going to do that with double crochets on this. So you're going to chain two, and then you're going to go one double crochet. Go ahead one double crochet and then two double crochets. So the same thing we did with the border only we're going to do that it, when we're making the basket we're going to do that with uh, double crochets. So we do one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, and you continue that around and I will see you at the other side. Pause your video.